One question I get asked all the time is how much money do I make from YouTube? And I know I made a video answering how much a million views makes, but I know what people are really wondering here is how much do you make in a year? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys my tax return. Just kidding, I'm not gonna show you my actual tax return, but I am gonna show you guys exactly how much money my YouTube channel made with a million subscribers just from the ads on my videos. So once again, I decided to ask you guys on my Instagram how much you think a channel with a million subscribers makes. And the answers, while vastly different, like seriously, tens of thousands of dollars apart, were pretty much all correct. You see, in 2018, while I had a million subscribers, I only made $24,269 from the ad revenue on my videos. While this year, 2019, still have about a million subscribers, for the first time ever, my channel actually made six figures just from the ads on my videos. And I will explain exactly how I did this and of course, give you guys some tips on you know, how you can do it too. It really must be confusing for people that aren't YouTubers because on the one hand, you have people like Jake Paul living in a mansion, buying supercars all the time, but you also have a lot of people that are using Patreon because they don't make enough money just from the ads on their videos. This year I uploaded 50 videos, so about once a week and got 32 million views total. My channel went from lifestyle to cars to tech. I really didn't stay in any one genre and my CPM fluctuated by the topic of the video. In the beginning of the year, I actually wasn't making a whole lot. As we can see in January and February, I didn't even make $2,000 each of these months. The CPM in the beginning of the year is always kind of low and I did not yet know that you could put ads in the middle of your video. But by the end of the year, that monthly number was very different. So the total amount I made just from ads in 2019 was about $140,000, which is so much more than any other year. I really couldn't believe it when the numbers started going up. So I'll go more into detail on how I optimized my videos to make more from ads. But just so you guys know, this is not the entire amount that most YouTubers make. So ads are really the default and easiest way that YouTubers make money. You pretty much check a box and they're turned on. But YouTubers also make money by selling merchandise like t-shirts and coffee mugs, using affiliate links where you receive a small commission from products, and doing sponsored videos where you're paid to partner with a company and talk about a product. So an example of a sponsored video is if Skillshare sponsored this video, which they did, you're watching the ad right now. I would probably start telling you that Skillshare is a website with thousands of different classes. They have classes on everything from writing to web development to lifestyle things like cooking or learning how to play the guitar. They really have a class for everyone. And if you're wanting to start a YouTube channel, they have so many classes on how to edit, how to shoot videos, how to market your videos, even how to use Photoshop so you can make better thumbnails, really everything you need to learn to get started. There's even a how to vlog class that Sarah Dietschy made, who is a successful YouTuber if you guys don't know her channel. So if you wanna get started with vlogging, I would recommend checking out that class. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you guys can sign up in the link below and get a two month free trial. So go check that out. I'll link it down below if you guys want to try it out. So that was an example of a sponsored video. While I can't tell you exactly how much I get paid for mine, because usually I sign a contract where I just can't tell you. I know it's annoying I can't tell you the exact numbers, but I can give you a full breakdown on the ad revenue, so let's do it. So in the first six months of the year, my channel actually wasn't on track to make this much money at all. From January to the end of June, my channel generated $21,000 of revenue. So it was really on track to make like $40,000 for the year. But obviously it made a lot more than this. So we can see in the second half of the year, my channel ended up making $118,000 from ad revenue. What's kind of interesting is that it made over five times as much as the first half of the year, but it only got twice as many views. It didn't get 50 million views. So let's take a look at why this is and how you can kind of replicate this too. The first thing I did that really just doubled the amount I was making was I made my videos over 10 minutes long. I referenced this a lot in the video about how much a million views makes, but if you haven't seen that video, basically if your videos are over 10 minutes long, 
you can throw another ad in there and you end up making like twice as much. I didn't learn this until about June. So that's why the first half of the year I didn't do this. But once I did, I consistently saw all my videos were making about $5 per thousand views essentially doubling the amount of money I made each month. My average for 2019 was $10. YouTube takes half of this, so it ended up being about $5. I also noticed, and this is kind of just a theory, that every video that was over 10 minutes long just kind of got more views. The second factor was I had a video go semi-viral this year. So that video about how much money a million views makes ended up getting 6 million views, which is insane and the most views I've ever gotten on a single video ever. Obviously, some luck comes into play here. I mean, I had no idea that video was going to get that many views or I would have done something about my hair. I feel like it just didn't look that good in that video. But anyway, now it has made $26,000. So it made more than the entire first half of the year. Like YouTube is just crazy like that. You never know when a video is going to pop off. So while you really can't predict a viral video or force this necessarily, if you're uploading 50 videos a year and they have a good title and thumbnail, chances are at some point, one of them's going to hit the YouTube algorithm and just skyrocket. I see this happen all the time with different channels and it really gives your whole channel a boost. There was no like secret formula to this, it just kind of happened. So while this video did super well, it actually wasn't even my top earning video. And this leads me to the third thing I did that led me to make basically six figures this year. So I've mentioned a bit about this before, but there are a few niches on YouTube that have a crazy high CPM. So this is mainly financial related topics. These channels will make like $10 per thousand views, but the highest one I've ever heard of is even more niche than that. It's Amazon FBA. So the video that actually ended up making the most money this year was about how people make money on Amazon. So this video got 1.7 million views and it actually ended up making about $4,000 more than my most viewed video with 6 million views. This is mainly because the ads on the video are people selling Amazon courses and they sell these courses for thousands of dollars and there's basically no overhead. It's just pretty much all profit. So they have a ton of money to spend on marketing. $35 per thousand views to be exact. Again, YouTube takes half of that, but still I earn $17 per thousand views, which is just insane. So even though this video didn't get nearly the views of the how much a million views makes, it still made a little bit more, which is kind of insane. So there is one last thing we have to go over for you to get an accurate view of how much YouTubers make and that is the expenses. The first expense is equipment. This is the most obvious. You absolutely need this to make videos. About every two years, cameras have better technology and in order to stay up to date and make better videos, it's best to upgrade. I also like to invest in nice lenses because I really think they make a huge difference in video quality. So the biggest expense for probably every YouTuber is taxes. A lot of people assume YouTube takes this out for you and they do not. It doesn't matter how you do it, you are gonna pay a lot in taxes. Whether you set up a company or you just do the self-employment thing, you're both gonna end up spending a lot on accounting and on the actual taxes. Especially in California, you have federal, state, and the city of LA has its own tax, which is just why? I actually pay most of it throughout the year when I pay myself through my company, but then my company also has to pay it. I'm just always paying taxes basically, like all the time, I feel like. Let's take the amount I made on AdSense in California. $140,000 falls into the 24% tax bracket. That means I would pay $33,600 in taxes. Since I do have my own company, I have a ton of expenses I can deduct from that, but even after that though, it still ends up being a significant amount that I have to pay in taxes. Not only do you have to pay the actual taxes, but you have to pay someone to prepare them. So I pay like $300 a month for someone to just completely deal with it. It's very worth it in my opinion, because I would be bad at it quite honestly, and I hate it for the second reason. I'd probably do it wrong somehow. And I think, you know, that time spent on doing that, I would make more money if I just was working on my videos. And the third expense is I pretty often will hire freelancers to help me shoot my videos when I want to be in the shot. So I've hired editors a time or two, but I never really quite like how it turns out. And I regularly hire freelancers to help shoot my videos because a lot of times I'm in the shot but then I want movement, and so it's just not physically possible for me to do that. I probably spend like $1,000 a month on this, so not even that much. Now that my channel's made more though, I can justify actually hiring someone part-time or full-time, and I'm probably gonna up that to like 2,000 a month and just hire someone like 
part-time. Which, if you're in the LA area and think you might be qualified, check the description box because I really need to hire someone like ASAP. I travel a lot just specifically for videos, but those are like the main expenses. So for example, the video where I compared rent in San Francisco versus LA, I did it relatively inexpensively. I just road tripped up and I got a $200 a night hotel. So it was $500 total for me and my friend to go. The video actually ended up doing super well. It made like $5,000. So a lot of times I think it's very worth it to just take the risk and travel or hire someone. This isn't always the case though. There are sometimes videos where I end up like basically just breaking even or even not even breaking even. <laughs> For example, the Ember Wave, that was $300 to buy the product. I forgot to put a second ad in the video, so it only made $390. So it really only made $90 when I put like a few days of work into that. Like that's just not a great return there. Okay, that is it for this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you have any other questions. And yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.